I had some questions from the hell choir. <laughs> hell choir. Questions. Hello, I got a list of questions from the Hellfire fan club and I will try to answer some now and I hope you enjoy it. Which guitarists have influenced you the most? Blues guitar players, I would say, because that's how I grew up. My, my father listened a lot to blues, so I, I grew up with uh, Steve Ray Vaughan, uh, George Thorogood, uh, Jimi Hendrix, stuff like this. And a lot of Rolling Stones, uh, which is not so much a guitar hero style, of course. And uh, just later on, I slipped a little bit into uh, this rock, um, hard rock metal scene. And the first one in this scene, more hard rock, I would say, that influenced me was uh, Eddie Van Halen, I would say. I really loved Van Halen. Maybe also Ingvi Malmsteen. Both players still, I would say, are super influential on the whole guitar scene in the guitar world. I mean, back in the day, I was listening to also Satriani and uh, Joe Satriani and Steve Vai and people like this. Frank Zappa, I was always influenced by Frank Zappa. If I would say like the most influential players for me personal, I would really say Eddie Van Halen, Steve Ray Vaughan. Also listened a lot to Joe Pass, by the way, which is like jazz. <laughs> These players always come to my mind when I think about guitar players. Which is your favorite Avantasia solo? In a way, I like it when uh, solos are not so hard to play live. So because then it's not so stressful and uh, you can enjoy it more, like a solo on um, Story and Over. Almost can't go wrong. <laughs> I mean, everything can always go wrong, but uh, it's something that people like and it's uh, not so hard to play. And I have a, usually an easy time doing that. And so I, I just have more fun doing this. Do you have a certain routine before you go on stage? I have to say I really need minimum half an hour to get into the zone because um, actually somehow not my natural me in a way on stage is I have to get into, I have to dive into another sphere of myself in a way. It's like uh, I have to concentrate and be from myself for half an hour. And I also don't like to talk too much right before and maybe drink a glass of wine and just get into a different zone where I can concentrate for three hours and three or, or even more because I'm also a little bit hyperactive maybe. <laughs> it's like uh, sometimes hard for me to keep my focus and uh, it's even harder if I, I get distracted beforehand. I think the most important for me is just have half an hour of peace to really be able to dive into this other world. Which is your favorite Avantasia song? It's a little bit hard for me to say uh, what's the best Avantasia song for me. The first thing that I worked on for Avantasia and also we toured with so there's a certain memory uh, and a certain emotion around this, these, all these songs from the Scarecrow album, in a way, especially uh, on, for example, Scarecrow. It's just a certain mood when this song is running uh, that just uh, puts me into a, a very romantic feeling almost, <laughs> because uh, it's just uh, the start of a new era for me, especially. Um, of my life and so I, I guess this song is highly connected to it but I also really like it as a song and it's a very versatile song as well and yeah, this is one of the songs I like the most I would say. What is your favorite thing about being in a band like Avantasia? What I like about Avantasia in general is that it actually um, has all these characters inside and, and when we're touring for example we are it's like a school excursion usually 12 13 people that are on stage, depending a little bit on the setup we are just having. Because sometimes, I mean, we just toured the world and in South America, Bob couldn't be with us. And then we are just one less and stuff. But uh, usually we've been between 12 and 13 people, plus the crew, obviously, which uh, ver varies a little bit between the all, the all in all people from 20 to to 36 or something, uh, depending on if you were touring in Europe, we have like two trucks and a bus and this and that, or even three trucks this time, 
So you need drivers, uh, of course, and people that handle the video screens and stuff like that. On the round the world trip, we were flying, so we couldn't bring everything. So we have a little bit smaller crew, but uh, there's a base crew that is always with us. And all together, we are, it's a little bit family feeling, I have to say. It's always so cool when we meet and uh, see, see each other again. And it's always comes back to the same feeling. And it's just, uh, a, a great big family on tour. That's what I like about Avantasia. It's uh, a lot of different characters. Uh, you talk to a, another person every night. So much different input, inputs that you get uh, throughout the tour that you come home uh, with a lot of experience, I think. What do you do on tour when you have time off? Back in the day, I was trying to uh, actually explore the, the surroundings a little bit where we have been. I mean, it was just cool to be around the world and be maybe in uh, Sao Paulo or Buenos Aires or wherever. And uh, you, you just try to get out of the hotel and uh, see as much as you could in the time that you have. Usually we didn't have so much time actually. But lately I have to say, I try to have like more of a relaxing face if I, if I could, because uh, touring, was getting a little bit more stressful in a way. I mean, we did more shows, uh, lots of traveling and um, yeah, we just, it was also just cool to just stay in your room sometimes and just watch some TV or just sleep. And, uh, but generally I would say, talk to the guys or to fans, learn to know new people, explore the surroundings and just spend some time and rest in your hotel room.